Hey guys, this is Suppy. I was a professional StarCraft II player. I am now a mortal rank in Valorant, and I wanted to show you some slow orbs. The slows I'm going to show today are cross-site or retake slows, the reason being that as a Sage player, you have such a good defensive kit that a lot of times the enemy team is going to avoid attacking your site, and it's nice to be able to, in those situations, help out your teammates on the other site when they're asking for help. So when I'm playing on B, which is very common for Sage, I like to go up to this hand when my teammates are yelling for help. I go to the top left of this building for a default bomb plant slow. I go to this smudge, and then on the right si slightly on the right side of the smudge, um, and then throw it at the top of the roof for a short slow. And then if you look at this big smudge here, go to the left and to this dark line, do a jump throw. That's for showers. So I'll do that real. I'll do that really quickly. And so these are all very useful. So generally, if the other team is already on site, then I'm going to do the default plant slow. If they're just pressuring short a lot, then I'll sh slow short. And if they're coming out of showers, I'll do the shower slow. Keep in mind you're going to be exposed when you're throwing these, so make sure you have somebody watching long for you or be very certain that there's nobody long. Also, if you hear that they're pressuring the other side a lot, you can drop a wall here and make sure nobody pushes hookah as you're throwing these. A safer alternative, if you want to do that instead, is you can come to this corner of this box here. You can crouch and then aim in the corner here. That's going to be a short slow. Aim at the top of this crane right here at this angle. Do a jump. That's shower. And if you go to the right a little bit and a little below the roof on the left, just do a normal throw. That'll be your default plant slow. So again. And these are the same slows as I showed before. Now coming on to A site, the best slows I found are lining up with this wheel right here um, in the circle. You don't have to be super precise about it. You'll find this brick right here, aim about two thirds along its length, and then throw at this dark spot. That'll be a hookah slow. And then if you aim in this white area between these two bricks and do a jump throw, that'll be a really good long slow for B long. I'm still looking for some good A to B slows from when you're stuck from when you're stuck in pocket. The best I found so far is just throwing this right here and then throwing this right here. They're not as good as the other slows, however. But they can still help your teammates on site. Obviously when you're playing this pocket area, you can also throw your slows through the teleporter. If you wanna land it deeper, aim kind of at the bottom of this laboratory sign. And this will uh, cause it to land deeper into hookah. So if they're already pushed up hookah, this will slow them from pushing onto site. And on the other hand, if they're just kind of hanging outside of hookah and your teammate hears them and you want to slow them, uh, just aim towards the bottom half of this door. And this will slow more outside of hookah, which will slow them out here and also allow your teammate inside to still be peeking rather than the slow being all the way inside. Another good thing to do is that because the slow orb opens the door for you, you can, for example, throw a slow orb, wait a couple half seconds, and then push through, and then start shooting people before the door closes, because they're not going to expect you to come through and already be able to shoot them right away. Normally, after somebody teleports, it takes a few extra seconds for them to walk here and then be able to start shooting. When you're retaking A from heaven, you don't want to just come out here with your orb in hand and slow showers like that. If you're worried there's somebody showers, you want to come out, just throw it off this wall right here, it'll land near showers and prevent anybody from peeking over there. You can also land a little shorter to get behind the site. And then finally, an important thing to note is that I see a lot of people when they're coming uh, out to retake B, they're just gonna like lob a slow orb into hookah like that. And sometimes it's okay, but you know, this one landed too deep because this doesn't slow any of this area right here. So these people here are kind of in the critical area that they're gonna be hiding and they can still uh, swing out and shoot you. So what you really need to do is make sure that it lands in that short area right there. So a consistent way to do that is to just aim at that corner. Anywhere you aim in this corner right here is going to land in here. Make sure it gets, make, it's going to make sure it gets all this short area right here. Sorry about the camera. As well as behind the box right here. When you're on backside, it's almost impossible to throw an orb that lands short enough. Uh, just because the way this box is, they're almost always going to land deep. So the most consistent way to do that is just aim in between this window and this tarp, do a regular throw or running throw anywhere in that area, and that'll ensure that you get this short area as well as behind the box. So I hope this video was useful. Let me know if you have any feedback or suggestions, and thanks for watching.